Hi, I'm Jim Hickey, uh, Jim Hickey Music in Fort Mill, South Carolina. We are right across the street from Carowinds Theme Park. Now, uh, it is December here in the Carolinas, just like it is everywhere else. And uh, this time of year, we get a lot of inquiries uh, regarding gift certificates for music lessons. And um, uh, one of the conversations that I have as, as, uh, as a string teacher is uh, trying uh, the parents that want to enroll their student, you know, be it 11, 10, 9, 8, 7 years old in, uh, in guitar lessons. Now, I'm, uh, I'm going to do this in two, two separate parts uh, in one video. I'm going to try and ramble through this here, so let's be patient. Uh, we're going to talk about the guitar, what to look for, what to, you know, where to shop, and also uh, the benefits of a ukulele for some of these students as well, okay? So first is the guitar. This, is that a full-scale guitar? Okay, as you can see, it's pretty large. Okay, and this is actually a thin-bodied instrument. A lot of the uh, regular guitars that you'd buy would be, a, you know, probably twice as twice the depth. Okay, so what you've got is a great big instrument, and this is what your elementary school kid looks like holding it sometimes. Okay, that said, there are smaller instruments available. There are three-quarter size. Okay, and there's even smaller than that, like half-size instruments. I've seen those out there now. So. How do you know which one's right for your student? Well, what you want to do is go to a music store and have them try various sizes of instruments to see what they like, you know, which one will fit them the best. Now, a musical instrument store, I'm going to clarify this by saying, if you can buy dog food and you can buy tires there, that is not a musical instrument store. So you can visit, you know, your local uh, big box um, you know, store, you can visit the, the small store that's in your town. Um, for one, they usually have a wider selection than they would at one of those, uh, you know, super stores that you buy groceries in. So uh, go to a musical instrument store and have your child try the sizes of guitars out and see what's going to work for them. Steel strings are very, are the most common uh, strings that you'll find on a guitar. The uh, there's nothing wrong with those. Okay, they they they're the folk sound. Okay, now nylon stringed instruments may be a little easier for your uh, guitars. Would be a little bit easier for the young beginner to to hold their fingers down on steel. Just as the name implies, can be very very harsh on a young finger. Okay, one that doesn't have any calluses on it. So. Um, size of the instrument, the type of strings that are available on the size that you, you want your student to have. Okay, those are the two things that you want to look out for. Now, you're at the music store. Next thing I want you to do is go to the ukulele section. All right, this is a ukulele. This is a tenor ukulele. It's really small, okay? This is actually, though, the largest size of the ukulele family. A lot of adults play uh, tenors, all right? The, uh, so obviously, right up front, you see that this would probably be a little more comfortable for your young beginner to hold on to, all right? The other thing is, there's only four strings on a ukulele, so automatically, it is not as complex. So if you can see, let's see if we can get these, whoa, four strings, okay, versus six. Not as complex. The student looks at it, it doesn't look as intimidating as looking at six strings. All right, we talked about nylon strings on a guitar. A ukulele comes with nylon strings. All right, now the tension, string tension on a nylon stringed instrument won't be as harsh or as hard as it will be on a guitar. Okay, it's a little shorter scale. It's a little more forgiving when it comes to making notes. All right, the other benefit besides size, okay, is the way that the instrument, and as far as it tur uh, jumping into guitar later on, this, this instrument's perfect for that, okay? It's easy, it's small, it's easy to manage, it's easy to make notes with, but the great news is if they learn to play chords, for example, that's a C chord, that's a G chord. Now, if they, when you grab a guitar, these four strings, is how, as far as the notes that they're relate, the relationship of notes between each other is exactly the same as a six string guitar's four highest strings. Okay, string one, two, three, four on a guitar are the exact same distance apart in pitch as these four strings are on a ukulele. 
What that means is you got this chord, you got this chord, you can transfer those over to a guitar, the name will change, that's it. The other thing is once you've got a good handle on the chord shapes on this, you will just have to add the fifth and sixth string uh, notes to the chord grip and it's a lot easier than you think. Okay, and there's also a new name for the chord. This G on a ukulele is a D on a guitar. It's very easy for the student. It doesn't take them long at all to process this. I've been through it a million times. So we've got the size. We've got the uh, the stores where they're, you know, the stores are available. It's great. Now let's talk costs, okay? Usually lessons cost the same no matter, you know, at a studio like mine, your lesson will cost the same no matter, you know, a private lesson. It doesn't matter what instrument you're playing. So you'll pay the same as you will on a ukulele as you would on a guitar, okay? But the instrument itself, there's a, a rather huge savings uh, by investing in your young beginner on a ukulele versus a guitar. Your average, I'd say, you know, the holiday season, everything's on sale. Uh, Three-quarter size or maybe a, a, a little junior folk guitar, they run anywhere from $100 to around $200 for something that's brand new and reasonable. Um, and again, this would be from a music store. Not where you get dog food, not where you get tires, okay? I think we clarified that. So, these guys run like a, a, a good instrument, a reasonable instrument for, for learning on with good strings on it. We'll run you anywhere from $45 up to $100, okay? There are starter kits available at most of these retailers. I sell them here myself. Uh, starter kits range anywhere from 50, 60 bucks up to around 100. And, um, you know, the, the starter kits include a bag, a gig bag to carry it around in, and, uh, you, and a tuner and the instrument itself. So it's, it's very economical sometimes, half the price that, versus buying a uh, guitar. Uh, I've gone through, you know, right now, we have several students, several adult learners actually start on ukulele as well. For one, it's for the exact same reasons that kids do. Not as complex, not as uh, hard to carry around, easier to, to make notes with, you can still pick up the rhythm. And the last thing I want to bring up is there is no trick as far as the theory and everything else goes. The theory is the, uh, as far as theory, I'm referring to note reading. This is written in G clef, which is the exact same clef that guitar is taught in. So if your expectation going into music lessons is that your child will learn to read music, they will learn the uh, popular clef that they could carry on through the guitar and other instruments. Piano, you can play piano melodies on this thing too if you, you know, really get good at it. The, uh, and, th and that is what you pay for lessons for, so your child can learn music. It doesn't have to be cumbersome to learn to read. And using a ukulele, you can actually get, you know, it, the, the uh, less stress on it because, again, it's not as intimidating looking. It's a great launch pad, folks. I really hope that you uh, take a few minutes to, um, to try, uh, give the ukulele a shot. As you get comfortable playing a stringed instrument, you can move from ukulele to guitar. If you're a guitar player and would like something kind of cool that you can play around with at home that doesn't take up a lot of, a lot of space, grab a ukulele. You're already 90% of the way there if you could play guitar. Thank you again. I appreciate your attention here. And I rambled on for almost exactly nine minutes and didn't screw up too bad. Our uh, website is jimhickeymusic.com. And our, uh, I look forward to uh, you know, reading your comments and getting your thoughts. Thanks again.